It's not just antiques you find at Newark Antiques Fair, you know. Not at all. You find all sorts of quirky, vintage, unusual things that no one's ever seen before, including me. Here's an example. Right, I've just bumped into Bridget and Phil. Very good to meet you both. And I said to Phil, what on earth is that that he's holding? Because I have no idea. And I bet you watching this, wherever you are in the world, you have no idea. But Phil is a man that knows. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell us what it is. It's um, a miner's self-rescue mask. Every miner used to carry one of these on his belt down the mine. And in case of gas, broke the seal, mask inside, fitted it to your face. Okay, Until so you got that to a fresh air zone. Right. Okay, so it li literally is a life-saving mask, it is. and it can only be opened once. Is that right? Well, they can they can be reused if you take them back to your um, what we call the lamp cabin, where the, right. where the lads like would refurb them and refit them. But okay, there's, there's only one use in it. Got in the you. Mask itself, but you can re refill them. So a miner could carry that literally for years yeah. and never use it. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't want to use it, does he? Yeah. He but really does. They were routinely checked were they? on a regular basis to make right. sure that you weren't carrying one that had sort of expired and was no use to you. But what a thing to find at Newark Antiques Fair. Yeah. Absolutely. The lady I bought you off didn't know what it was. She didn't. Well, know. listen. And I gave her two pounds for it. What? Did you really? <laughs> yeah. She now, thought it belonged to... Uh, she thought it was off a bike. Off a bike. Right. Well, it looks like it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. But you see, there you go. I often talk about how you make money in this business is by having a passion and an interest, and therefore you gain knowledge. And knowledge is power, and knowledge is money. And you, Phil, have the knowledge, because you obviously have an interest. But tell me, why do you have an interest in, in mining? Well, I worked underground for 13 years. Did you? And my dad worked underground for 40 years. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? When did you leave the mine? Just after the miners' strike. Which was, was what years? 85, 86. Right. Were they happy days? Very happy days. Very happy days. Yeah. 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 And what did you do subsequently? Uh, I went into steel industry. Back right. into the steel industry. I went into steel industry before I went into the coal industry. McGregor came into the steel industry and closed it all down. Right. So I went into the mining industry. Right. He came into mining and closed all that down. Oh. And then I found my way back in steel industry. So I'm still in steel industry. It's steel now. industry now. And tell them what else you do. Did you do part time? Well, I played semi professional football. Right. While I was working underground. Well, you see, being underground, it must have been a very healthy physical job. Yeah. So it kept you fit yeah. for your football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, one, one last look at this thing then. And we can't open it, can we? Because has it been welded it's closed? Been, it's been tacked up so that obviously nobody opens it. So you're never going to open this? Possibly not. I may get tempted at some point to break the seal and have a look. And have a look in. Inside it, yeah. but it's just instantly recognisable to a miner. I mean, Phil, for two quid? Yeah. And what, where will it live now at home? Well, I've got a miner's lamp on my off. Right. And this will get polished and sit, hopefully sit beside it, dependent on Bridget. Oh, Bridget, you don't mind, do you? No, not at all. You not won't at mind all. at all. And are, are you looking for anything else at Newark? Um, yeah, I, so we sort of look for bits of silver and just oddments, really. Things yeah. that, that appeal to us. Just yeah. basically well, you never what know. my girls call rubbish. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> we call it treasure, don't we, Bridget? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you treasure. never know what you're going to find no. here, do you? Yeah, no. Okay. Listen, it's so nice to bump into you. Thank you, you very much. And talk about learning something new every day i've never seen one before but next time if i do i will know phil because Absolutely. of your passion and your knowledge yep. Absolutely. thank Great. you very much Good. thank You're you welcome every day is a school day <laughs>